Hello everyone, this is going to be a short tutorial on how to update your project and your Docker containers um, once you have added new files to your project or you have made changes to existing files. So I'm assuming that you've watched Sumuka's last video and you have cloned the GitLab repository and you have made your initial Docker images, right? So I have done that as well. So let's list my images. So I'm using IntelliJ, by the way, for my project. So let's see, Docker images. So this is the image that I've used, okay? So now let's come to this and say, uh, Docker run. See? So I'm, I'm making a container out of this. So Docker run DD. And then I'm gonna name my container, uh, demo video. And then it's made from this ID. So, this is the ID. Now we're going to clear this. And I'm going to open a new window because we'll be using Docker, the container ID a lot. So Docker container, Docker PS. Okay, so this is a container ID. This is the name of a container, right? So we have the container ready. Now let's log into the container. Let's execute that with bin bash, okay? So I'm going to say Docker execute. It. And then the name of our container was demo video. You can also use the ID here, but I'm just going to use this. So demo video. And then you're going to use the bin bash uh, interface, right? Bash interface. So now we are in a directory called Lucene Solar, right? So let's list the content of our demo folder. So let's go to Lucene demo src java org okay. now as we see we don't have the index.html html index files.java right so let's exit out of this and let's stop our container so we can say docker stop and then i'm just gonna copy this you can also use the name but i'm going to use the container id so if you stop that container so now let's come back to our host computer, right? So, okay. So our HTML index files are Java is going to be very similar to index files are Java. And for the project, um, add all your class files to this demo folder, okay? So your index.html.java, your analyzer files, your TFID, ID files, they should all be here sitting alongside these, okay? So let's come to our demo folder and then let's add a new class file. It's, it's going to be called HTML index files.java. We don't need to add it to our list. So now let's copy the contents of index.html. Let's bring them here. And we'll just make two changes here. So we'll just add HTML and again to our constructor, HTML. So now we have everything good. So let's come back to our build file. And we're just gonna make another target in our build file. So we'll come here and we'll change this to HTML indexing demo. And this is important. We'll change our, our class path, right? Our class name. So our class name, it sits inside this demo package, but it's called index.html.index files, right? This is our class name, html.index files. So we have done that. We have made those changes, right? But our changes are in our local host computer, not in our Docker container, right? So we're gonna copy that into a container. So we're gonna say cp, sorry, docker cp, and then we're gonna go into our file, so it's lucene demo src java org, and it's called html.index. And then our container is called container ID is this, right? So we're gonna copy this, we're gonna come here, we're gonna paste, and then our file was a folder was called lucene solar. And then we're gonna copy this entire thing. So we want 
that we, we want this to be right here. So we're copying the index.html index HTML index files.java into a container, right? So let's do that. So that is done. Now we'll copy the build file, right? So cp lucene demo build XML. And we'll again copy that into this right here. Okay, that's done as well. Now, let's see, Docker, PS, so we don't have any open container, right? So let's start a container. So Docker, start, and our container is called this. So, and then let's log into a container again. Okay, so now let's check, do we have those files or not? So we'll run that. Okay, now we see that HTML.index file is sitting right there, right? But this won't compile because the build file hasn't been run. So for that, we'll use this, this line of code. And it was built in about three, four seconds, right? So let's clear that. Now let's come to our folder and let's run this. But let's change this to run HTML indexing that demo. Now, as you, you you can see that it's indexing all the HTML files, right? So it's using this and it's using the target that we had set in our build.xml. So this will take a few seconds. It will just wait till it gets completed. Okay, and now we're just gonna run this and just gonna check whether everything runs fine or not. So let's run this. Okay, and it's asking for a query. So let's say mountain. So it's giving us all of that, right? So as you can see how easy it was to update the file, right? Using these commands. And I'm also gonna use, post these commands in the YouTube video link, okay? I hope this video was clear to the class and, and you all have a great weekend, okay? Take care, bye.